If you've got nothing to do, well, I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these vids, because it's five hacks for kids. Hi, I'm Julian, and today's episode is babysitting survival hacks. Julian, are you done with hacks yet? I turned my back for one second, and they already dropped a bag of flour on the floor because they wanted to make snow angels for their dolls. This first hack will keep those mischievous hands busy. My amazing maze. For this hack, you'll need a hot glue gun, scissors, different colored pipe cleaners, a round bead, and a clear CD case. For your first step, open up your CD case and pop out the part that holds the CD. Cut your pipe cleaners into different sizes and then glue them into your CD to make a maze. The start of the maze is up here and the end is down here. Now place your bead into the case, close the lid, and you're ready to play. My amazing maze. This is so cool. All right, thanks. This should keep them busy for a minute. Ow, ow. Can you help me please? What else have you got? Well, maybe I can turn those pool noodles from objects of torture into objects of delight with my super fun marble run. For this hack you'll need scissors, marbles, straws, tape, index cards, a permanent marker, a shoe box, and four pool noodles. Start by grabbing your pool noodle and tracing two circles on the side of your shoe box. Now cut them out. Cut your pool noodle in half long ways. This time we're going to cut the noodle in half like we did with the other one, but we're going to leave some space in the middle to make a tunnel. Now do the same thing with the other side, but only about four inches long. You're just going to tape the two pieces together to make a long tunnel. Make a second track. Now we're going to make some start and finish lines using index cards, straws, and a marker. To make the sign, just take your index cards and fold it so the two ends meet. And then cut it in half. Now write start on one of them and finish on the other. Now tape your signs onto your straws. Make a second set of start and finish lines. Now tape both of the finish lines over the holes in the box you made. Now tape your start line over the end of your long noodle. And repeat with the other noodle. Stick the other end of your noodle into the box. To play, have both players place the marble into the start line, and whichever marble lands in the box first wins. Three, two, one, go. I win! <laughs> and if it keeps all of the kids out of trouble, we all win. Okay, so she said she wants to make bubbles, but she wants to be inside the bubble, like in The Wizard of Oz. Kids, so crazy. Well, how crazy is it that I have a hack just for that? My life-size bubble maker. For this hack, you'll need one kiddie pool, one hula hoop, 10 cups of liquid dish soap, 10 tablespoons of corn syrup, and five gallons of water. 
For your first step, you're going to pour your water into the pool. Now add your dish soap and your corn syrup. And then mix it all together. Now have a kid stand inside. You can stand inside the hula hoop. <laughs> and then lift up the hula hoop to make a life-size bubble. <laughs> These bubbles will keep them out of trouble. This is awesome. Thanks so much, Jillian. Babysitting hacked. Hope you enjoyed babysitting hacks. See you next time. Remember to subscribe to GMRX TV and to click here for more life hacks for kids.